Yes, I'm going good. And um, um, finding it here in the hospital is relaxing and you get a lot of good rest. It is, um, I don't get homesick because I have ma many friends, the nurses, my friends, and um, they give me something to do. Like I'm going to be doing art, and um, which is good, one of my favorite pastime hobbies. Yeah, and I miss doing it at home, but yeah, why not doing it at the hospital? <laughs> do you think you're healing well? Yes, I am healing well. I'm getting here slowly, but I'm healing fast too, so am I. Just have to wait, um, to work on my legs and, yeah, make it more stronger. And uh, by doing that, I I'll go out with the physios. So, um, yeah, hard work, but I thought I'd never get there. <laughs> but everything seems to be going good for me, you yeah? know? There was a development, though, because you, you are now on dialysis. Well, I came here for my leg, and then they fixed me up by putting me on dialysis because something else was wrong with my body, and um, and um, I wasn't expecting it, you know. And um, that's what my family said. It's just it's like a because I, I'm on dialysis, and it, it's like a long wait. And you know, we as as um, Aboriginal people, we can't. We're not used to that waiting and waiting. We, we're, uh, I like to go back to my own country, you know, and um, do dialysis there. Do you know what it's going to take for you to be able to have dialysis in Roeburn? I don't know what it's going to take because it's taken a long time, but I keep asking the, the, the doctors and, um, and, and, and the doctors in dialysis and um, I don't know, they don't even tell me nothing, whether they just want to keep me here, I don't know. If you do dialysis at home, you're going to need a family member to help you probably, or someone else, like a, a, a paid nurse, I think. Hmm. Well, that's, that's, what, that's what they were saying. I might have to get someone to help me, like a paid nurse, you know, but, um, which, is, um, which, which would be good, that's what I prefer paid nurse anyway, you know, but... You're know, finding the money for all of them things, you know, to keep them in our community. Because, um, see, Mon Curry should be able to, um, and Mon got a board, should have been able to meet our needs. There's so many people going on dialysis in Robin, and they should meet our needs, you know, and make it better for us as elders. Because we're not going to be suffering here all the time, you know, we want to go back to our own country. Are there any other groups you think could um, fund a dialysis nurse? Well, maybe the hospital, maybe the health department would look at how important Aboriginal people need dialysis in the communities, especially if they want to go back to homeland, and maybe NIFL, because they have funding for elders. So it's I just put in my point view across for, for NIFL, because NIFL should be helping, assisting us elders. And it's one of the important ones for me, anyway. Even though you're in hospital recovering, you've been participating in songs for freedom. Yes, I've been like trying to fill my passion and my songwriting, keep it going, because it has brought me only support healing to me too, and it, which is good. And I needed that. So after I wrote my first song, after falling from the country, the first one was a bad country, and the second one is at my, at my um, injuries and that was like brought, brought more healing to my body so keep on singing you know keeping so keep on doing songwriting is good for my health too which songs are they doing of yours these the two new ones might not be ready but what else are they are no they're not they're not doing the new on new ones yet might not be ready he said um but they're gonna try and get the one out of the first two right Hey girl and um, little girl on the train. So I said, play the hey girl one. But the little girl on the train is a really beautiful song too. Because all my songs are true, true stories of my, my life and what I've been going through. And so I just write it because it's good for my health, it's good for my soul and good for my spirit.
before I wrote it down.